Hello, welcome to this class. We are going to learn have got, we have have got and have. In this class, we will learn to speak about relationships, relationships, English class, possessions, possessions, sahip, oldu, şeyler, illnesses, hastalıklar, actions, uh, hareketler, and experiences, experiences, tecrübeler. Let us begin. And after this video, we will answer this question comfortably. So we will answer this question. We will, we will answer this question comfortably. Comfortably, rahat, rahat, give up, please, just give up, answer, answer this question comfortably. Okay, we begin. So, have got, have got, have, for example, uh, for relationships, one minute, for relationships, when do we use have got or have? We use it for relationships. Relationships, for example, uh, brother, one minute. So for relationships, relationships, for example, I have got three brothers. I have got three sisters. How many sisters and brothers? How many sisters and brothers have you got? So this is how we ask a question. How many sisters and brothers have you got? You can answer in your notebook. You can talk about your family. You can talk about your family. Uh, we can say, I have got three brothers, I have got three sisters, or we can say, I have three brothers and I have three sisters. So it's the same, I name she, not different. I have three brothers, I have three sisters, or I have got three brothers, I have got three sisters. It's the same. And let's look at possessions. Possessions. For example, possessions. What is possessions again? Possessions, for example, I have got, I have got a house or I have a house. We can say I have got a mobile phone, mobile phone. Or we can say I have a mobile phone. Now, let's write this. Now, what have you got around you? What have you got around you? Around a trafunda. 
for example, I have got a mobile phone around me. I have got earphones, earphones, headset around me. I have got a pencil around me. I have got a pen. I have got a book. What have you got around you? You can answer in your notebook to practice this. Another one, mm, we can say illnesses. What is the meaning of illnesses? Illnesses, for example, oh, I've got a headache. So we can say, I have got a headache. So illnesses has to look clever. I have got a headache. I've got a uh, stomach ache. Or we can say, I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a headache. Another one, uh, actions. Here it's a little bit different. Here you can see, one minute. There is an arrow on this. And a bit cheese giver, buddor dinjiden, action zolan. Or that have got kulan mirrors. We don't use have got for actions. And the hangi harakitlar. Some actions, one minute. Some actions have a phrase have. For example, for example, have got, uh, no, uh, have breakfast, have breakfast, have lunch, have a break, have a problem. These are normal phrases. There are so many. So have a problem, have a break, have lunch, have breakfast. These are just phrases. We do not use have got breakfast with these phrases. Have got a break, have got a problem, I've got a problem. No. You only use have. Why? Because you cannot touch this. These are phrases. So if it's a phrase with an action, don't use have got. Uh, if you look at these, we use have got because you can touch it. For example, a car, I've got a car or I've got a phone. You can touch the phone, but I have got a problem. You cannot touch the problem. So you can not touch the problem. So don't use have got. Okay, so we have experience. Have a good time. For experiences, do not use have got. So uh, I had a good time. For example, I had a good time on my holiday last week. Do not use I have got. So I have a good time. I had a good time. So these two actions and experiences do not use have got. But uh, illnesses, so these three, one minute, these three. You can use have got. I have got a brother or I have a brother. No problem. I've got a car or I have a car. You can touch it. I have a headache or I've got a headache. You can use that. And uh, for negative sentences, we say I haven't got. 
let's delete this. We say, I haven't got, uh, I haven't got, I haven't got a car or she hasn't, she uses has, she has got, she hasn't got a brother, she hasn't got a brother or she doesn't have if we use have has, then here we say she doesn't have a sister. So kiss card is she She doesn't have a sister. What about questions? Questions we use do or does, subject, have, and object. For example, uh, does she have a house or do you have a phone like that but for have got we say have you got so no we don't use do we use have at the beginning so have you got a brother have you got a sister? ETC. And we do not use ING or we don't use got in the past. So I had got a brother. No, I had a brother. We say I had a brother. I had a brother. Or I had a friend. I had a friend, now I don't. So I had a friend, not I had got a friend, don't make this mistake, or ing. ing we can use with actions or experiences. So this one, one minute. These two actions or experiences, mm, I'm having breakfast, shindikizaman. So we can say, I'm having breakfast. I am having breakfast. And remember, you don't use have got here. I have got, I'm having got breakfast. No. So I have got breakfast here, uh, or I'm having breakfast. Or I'm having a good time. So Bucket each year. I'm having a good time. So, Mr. Tati will listen us. We go back at each year. So, us are Kadashin Arab. DJ Jackson, ah, go back at each year. Tati will go with you. Yada. I have also Shindi Europe. I'm having breakfast. I'm a half got Buddha. Clan the Malays. So, these two, one minute. Let's draw onto them with this. So these two do not use have got, but you can use ing with all of this. You can use ing, but do not use have got. And these three, you can use have, but do not use past if you use have got. I had got a brother, I had got a car. No, I had a car, etc. And I'm going to leave practice questions in the link below. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And make practice in your book. You can write a question to follow up. Thank you so much. Have a great day.